Caitlin and I, our control is pretty good. So we've never had any um, sort of symptoms in terms of high blood glucose levels that, um, that can cause um, chronic complications later on in life. It's more so if our blood sugar levels go low, um, you, you do get symptoms for that. So dizziness and shaking and sweating. Sweating. I sort of, you can't really think or concentrate. Yeah, think straight. Um, and you start sort of, <laughs> I start talking gibberish and just don't make sense. I find there's times where I will just start to notice it straight away and yeah. um, it's at that point that you can go and get yourself something and you're fine. And then I've had times where, I don't know, I suppose people really notice tell. it before you do. Yeah. Yeah. And then they'll start saying, well, maybe you should test your blood glucose levels and see what you are. And I normally get all angry at that and be like, no, you know, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with me. But once I test it, I can see. Um, but I think like later, the more you have, or the, the more years that you've had type 1 diabetes, you start to lose the feelings. The symptoms, the yeah. The symptoms that of low blood glucose levels. So you sort of, I suppose, start to rely on how people see it more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we haven't so far. Touch wood. <laughs>